this assignment we're going to create a list of our favorite links. I'm going to give you the um, requirement of having two different fonts, one for your headings and one for your links. And I like the Google fonts because they're, well, they're free and they're really easy to use. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm on google.com forward slash fonts. And I'm just going to take a quick look for something that might look nice as a heading. Now heading I'm willing to go a little funkier than I am for things that I want to be easy to read. This is not necessarily the best font but it is sort of cool and I do kind of like it. And I'm going to hit quick use and this is all fine with me so I'm going to grab my HTML code here and I'm going to go out to Dreamweaver and I've created an index page Oh, no, I didn't. Good. So I've created an empty folder for Lab 6, and you'll see that I've got some things in my Lab 6 folder because you should always prep your web page before you create it. When you're prepping your web page, in this case, I have a Word document right here. It just has a list of the text I'm going to put on my Dreamweaver page, and I like to do things in Word first. It's a little easier than working directly in Dreamweaver, especially if you don't have Dreamweaver at home. You can prepare your content in Word. And then I also went out to Illustrator and did a very simple logo so that I can show you how to add a link to an image. So that was the work I did before I got started. Now I'm in Dreamweaver and I'm going to choose... I'm going to go to Dreamweaver and I'm going to choose File, New, and I want a new HTML. And I'm going to go ahead and use one column fixed centered. And I want it to be HTML5. And for my layout CSS, um, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the heading or the head section. And I'm going to hit create. So this gives me a nice basic page that I can play with. I'm going to minimize my files right here. And I'm going to go into split view in just a second. And you'll notice it's already putting in some information for me. And I do like to use the H, the built-in layouts. And you can get rid of the stuff that you're not going to need. Now for the um, I, we are going to use some ordered lists here. You can go ahead and leave this comment stuff in here. What I usually do is I go through and I read it and see if I need it. Um, this is fine to begin with. I'm going to come back here in just a second. Um, you can go ahead and read through these on your own. And I'm going to I'm going to see what I want to. Leave. Most of the stuff is pretty decent to leave in here. Leave that comment. And that's fine. I'm going to play with those colors later. That's all fine. And so you can just sort of play with that stuff and read it. We aren't really going to be doing floats left and right here. It's handy. It's a good class. Um, we probably won't need it, but I'm going to leave it in here just in case. All right, so we have basic, a good basic place to start. And I've grabbed my code from Google Fonts. So this needs to be up in the head section to embed your collection to your website, copy into the head section. So let's go back over to Dreamweaver and we'll go up to the head section before you put in the style, usually right after the title. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a title here since I'm right here. I can do it here in the code or I can type right here. Mary's favorite links. If you've done this exercise with me, in HTML, you're going to find it so much faster in Dreamweaver. I can't begin to tell you how much faster this is going to be. Okay, so that lets me put my code in here, and then it tells me I need to 
use my font family wherever I'm going to use it. And so my font family here, so this would be Eater Cursive. So I'm going to grab this, and I want this to be my heading fonts. So I'm going to be really simple. Dreamweaver actually has dropped in my H1, H2, H3, H4, etc. I'm going to drop it right in here. And I also want to add for my H1. I'm going to show you Dreamweaver's way of doing this. It's so much better than hand coding. I can actually go in here and I can add a new and this is giving me anything and each one in the content that's fine or I can just go into a tag and I can redefine H1 which is actually what I want to do and here all I really want to do here is go to my I'm going to put a color on this font I'm going to put it purple I could actually have some fun here. I could go make my, give myself a background color. We'll say light gray, and I could put padding and a margin on the H1, which I don't want to do. I actually, I don't want to do a background on the margin. We'll leave that be. But what I do want to do is go to my text align, and I want it to be centered. And that's just for the H1 tags. That way, when I go in here and I put in I'm in H1. I'm going to choose H1 there. And I'm going to put in Mary's. Make sure you click here. Mary's favorite links. Now, here's that nothing's happened. So I need to save. And this should be index.html. It's in Web175. And it needs to go into labs and lab six. And there you go. You have to actually publish these to see them, though it might, if you're live online, live sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So it gives you the cursive, but not the real font you're going to see, which is fine. Okay, so I want you to pick another font because, well, Practice makes perfect. So I want you to pick the next font. should be really clear, easy to read. Uh, a sans serif. Okay, so I like this one. So again, I'm going to grab my HTML code here. I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. And I'm going to paste this right into the header. Then I'm going to grab this. And technically, this should work because I'm going to do all my links in a list. So I'm going to drop it there for my unordered lists. And let's go ahead and just put in my content. Now I've already created it in Word, so I can just select all, copy, go into Dreamweaver, and paste it. Now this is obviously not everything that I wanted to be, and it didn't come in exactly correct. So I've already got that part done, so I can delete this. Now this is one of the things you got to watch. I've still got blank lines here. And this is why I like to work in my code. Now, it when I copied from Word, it dropped in a class here, which is okay. I don't know if it, that came in from Dreamweaver. Now, these, I want those center aligned. So, I can do this a couple ways. I can go in and add a new class, and this is going to be an H2, and I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Tag. I'm just going to make it H2, and I'm going to pick a color for those. I'm going to say that my H2 tags are a dark red, and I'm going to go to my block, text, align, center, apply, OK, 
and I want this to be class. Oops, I don't want that. I just want to change my tag here to H2, and then they are red. All right, now these are actually going to become links. And so I'm going to select, I'm actually going to have to put these in here first. I want these to be H3 tags, H3, H3, and H3. So that's my different headings. Now you're going to have to have at least um, 15 links with at least three settings. Now these should be unordered lists, and they are. Though I'm checking my code here because you'll notice I got an empty list link in each one. This is, I really, it's important, I, I don't mind copying and pasting from Word, but you've got to go back and read your code. So those are all as unordered lists. Now this is sort of funky. This is not the way that I expected my unordered lists to appear. So I'm going to have to go up here and look at what we're doing for my unordered lists. I don't actually want a padding of zero. I want a padding of 20. There we go. I like that better. Maybe I want 25. Five. I'm okay with that for now. Now, I'm going to want to put in, and you don't want to highlight the whole thing right in front of these, I'm going to want to insert anchors. So I'm going to go to insert, named anchor, and so this one is going to be tutorials. I'm just going to put in a blank line here. Okay, and I want a blank line after Netflix. That looks good. I'm looking at my code here. It's putting in a non-breaking space instead of a paragraph that's actually entering a new paragraph. I'm fine with that. I want my anchor here. Insert named anchor. Entertainment. Okay. You notice I get the little image of the anchor, but what it's doing is an anchor with an ID entertainment. And I'm going to put an anchor right here. And I just saw it named anchor. And I'm going to name this education. Not a bad idea to also put one up at the top. which logically would be called top. So you can see that it actually indicates where the anchors are. And the cool thing here is that when you do that, now if I link to those anchors, I can go down to my link section here and I can just point at the anchor and see it'll link to tutorials. And then I can select entertainment and I can link here and I can select education and I can use my little pointing link and select that anchor here and I'm going to show you a little shortcut right here I'm going to put in top and I'm going to make this a link to the top then I can copy this I want to make sure that these are set up the same way so this should have had a non-breaking space in front of it And if you want to see your code, you select this and it shows you have an unmaking space in front of it, which is what I wanted. And then I can paste it in there. Now at this point I like to test these. So 
in preview in Firefox. I'm going to save it. And this is just my interior. And you can see I've got my fancy fonts, tutorials, entertainment, education. Doesn't really do much, but if I were to shrink it, education, top, tutorials, top, entertainment, top, then it works. So it's working just fine. Then I gotta think, do I like the colors I have for my links? Well, here I can go into my page properties, and if I don't, I can go into CSS and I can pick different link colors. For my visited links, I might go a more faded out red, and that's probably as far as I want to go. And then I'm going to put in links here. Now here, the best way to do this, so I've got tv.adobe.com. You actually want to go here, copy the link, and when you select it, paste it in here, and set your target to blank. That makes it open in a new page. Same thing for lynda.com. I'm only going to do the first three links here because you guys can copy and paste the others. So I'll go to lynda.com, go back to Dreamweaver, paste it in here, and I'm going to set the target to blank. Now you'll notice that each one of these also has a title option. So my title can be excellent paid resource for software tutorials. Um, I'll do this last one. Maryhelp.net Drop that in here. Target blank that opens in a new page. My tutorials from my classes. And I've only added titles to two of them. Now there's one other thing I wanted to drop in here. And I'm going to put it right here. And I want to go into insert image and I'm going to choose my image here Mary help dot net logo and this I want to center it best way to do that again CSS styles here we'll just add one for images because this is going to be my only image so we're going to move on for the tag and block vertical line middle, text align, center, and then I do actually like a little bit of padding around mine. I'm going to put 15 pixels of padding around it. That should have centered this image. But it didn't. Interesting. Okay, since that did not center it, let's go look at our code. Let's see. Let's Let's see that should have worked. Sometimes you just need to move it further down. In your styles. Nope, didn't do it. So sometimes cascading style sheets aren't going to work exactly the way you think they're going to. I want this centered. 
my other option is to do a custom class for this. And I frequently will do this. Now we should, we have a few choices on this. We can make it semantic, but here if I'm going to center something, that's the only way I'm ever going to do it. It's going to be center. Ooh, it's standard. No, I don't want to use it as class name. So centered images. And that's probably as semantic as I'm going to get. So I'm going to go into my box here to explain center. And we'll go ahead and put my box in here and put padding around everything the way I normally would. Hit OK. And then we're going to apply that class here. And you can do that right this way by selecting centered images. And it's still not centering. This happens more often than you would think. So let's go ahead and look at this in live view. Still not centering. Let's take it out of the paragraph and see if that makes any difference. Nope. We can put it back in the paragraph. And the other option that we can do here is we can make the class for centered images apply to the paragraph. And this is why it's important to, and there we go. Now it works. Okay, so I'm going to preview this in Firefox. And that is pretty much what I wanted it to do. My last thing will be actually to turn this image into a link, which was the whole point in putting it in here. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select that and the link here I can should be able to just nope. I want to put it to I thought the last thing I'd copied and pasted was Mary help that not. So HTTP maryhelp.net and I want oops http maryhelp.net and then again test 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 I can't ever you can never test this enough. I'm gonna save it open up Chrome looks good and that takes me to a new page and those are still there okay so make sure you test your links um, that's what I want you to do you should have two external fonts one for your heading and then I want you to create anchors for your headings and anchor back to the top so that you should have you need 15 links at least three different sections and go through and make them all work. Add an image of anything you'd like, make it a link to something, and that's the, the lab for lab six.